Welcome to Canpi Planet, I'm Mac, and today we're making first contact with Contact S. Contact S is the third single malt from the Shizuoka distillery. It follows Prologue K and Prologue W, released in December 2020 and June 2021, respectively. I put those two releases head to head on Kanpai Planet, so check out that video for a review of those whiskies and everything you need to know about the Shizuoka distillery. That knowledge will stand you in good stead for what's coming up, because Contact S is a blend of whiskies from their K, Karawizawa wash still, and their W, Forsyth, wood fired still. The steam heated K pot still has been producing distillates with a fruity aroma and light taste, and the direct fired W still has given birth to heavy tasting distillates with a long finish. This is the first general release to marry those two together. As many barrels in their ambitious private cask program have come of age. There are a number of single cask Shizuokas kicking around. I've tried a number of these bottlings and on the whole, they've been excellent. And I've also got to try distillates direct from the cask at the distillery. So this was filled on the 11th of December, 2019. It's now the end of July, 2021 and Ooh, that is lovely. Very, very fruity. Armando's got some great whiskey to look forward to. But relative to these, I didn't rate Prolog K and Prolog W that highly, given the quality of everything else I've tried from the distillery. The owner is very happy with his purchase, and the conclusion is that this is better than Prolog K. I mean, stripping out the fact that this is a year and a half old, and therefore not as smooth, it's fantastic. They were both identifiable as young three-year-old whiskies, a little rough around the edges, especially Prologue K, but certainly not without merit. In fact, as I said when I took a detailed look at them, all the world's a stage for the Shizuoka distillery. They are set to become one of Japan's whiskey powerhouses, especially as their grain to glass vision comes to fruition. I cannot wait for the magic of time and aging to transform their distillate into something special. Let's see how Contact S measures up. Contact S was released on the 27th of November, 2021, with a 5,000 bottle outturn in Japan. There are plans to export it, but the quantity and exactly where it will be sold are TBD. It is real Japanese whiskey adhering to the standards released in February, 2021 by the Japan Spirits and Liqueur Makers Association, on the whole, the Shizuoka Distillery's commitment to creating whiskies with genuine terroir has been admirable. The bottle shape is the same as the one used for the Prolog W release, inspired by the shape of that wood-fired still, and the label features the distillery logo S with a bird and a fish at each end. The fish is an ayu, a sweet fish, which lives in the Nakakochi River, which runs past the distillery, and the bird is the kawasemi, a kingfisher, which is a symbol bird of Shizuoka City. The S in this case mainly stands for spirit still, but encompasses other meanings such as Shizuoka and single malt. The design gives this release a different feel to the Shodo calligraphy of the stills that we saw on the prologues. It's 55.5% ABV, which is cask strength, and it's non-chill filtered and natural color. If you are able to get one at the recommended retail price, it'll cost you 8,943 yen, exactly the same as the Prolog K and Prolog W releases. The raw materials are Japanese barley malt, Scottish non-peated and peated malt, and German beer malt. Now, interestingly, the distillate that's gone into the barrels is two thirds K, Karawizawa, and one third W, the wood fired still. To age this, they've used mainly first fill bourbon barrels, but some quarter casks have also been used. In total, 36 component whiskies have gone into Contact S, versus, for example, 31 in Prologue K. It's a three year old whiskey, but the oldest components in this bottle are now four years old. Let's make contact. Subscribe and set the bell icon to all notifications to be the first to find out about the latest drop on Kanpai Planet. Let's check out the color.
That's a nice old gold light amber colour on the nose. Hmm. Well, there are still those elements I would associate with youth like acetone or nail polish. There's some spice there, some ginger and some Japanese Nikki cinnamon, and also some peppermint and some citrus, lemon. The nose reminds me quite a lot of that, of IPA finished whiskies. Kanpai. This is really interesting. There's quite a lot of salinity and it's quite savory. Maybe that's what the S actually stands for. There's a slight acidity there and a bitterness that does remind me of hops. That citrus is there on the palate, but when combined with that bitterness, it's expressing itself more as grapefruit. It's got quite an expansive mouthfeel, quite woody and a little bit oily. Unfortunately, that bitterness is overwhelming and gives it this monodimensionality, which I don't think really helps the whiskey. That bitterness continues into the finish, which is medium long, and it's joined by that oak and wood. Sometimes when you have that bitterness on the palate, it leads to quite a crisp finish, but that's not what's happening here. As you move through the finish, some sweetness does emerge, which is nice. So what's the verdict? Not bad. Some of the rougher edges of the prologues have been smoothed out. And if you're a fan of whiskies with strong structure, you're gonna like this. In terms of its composition, they went two thirds K, one third W. I'm looking forward to the reverse of that, maybe balancing out some of the sharper edges of the K. I have to say, this isn't quite as good as those single casks that I've tried from the Shizuoka distillery, which is making me wonder where the disconnect is between the underlying quality of what's in those barrels and then what they're putting on general release. In terms of ranking this alongside the two earlier general release Shizuokas, I prefer this to Prologue K, but I would still put it below Prologue W. Should you buy one? If you see one at the RRP of 9,000 yen, 80 US dollars, and good luck with that, and you have interest in chronicling and seeing that development of Japanese whiskey and this new nascent wave of distilleries, then by all means. But if you're just looking for a nice smooth dram to enjoy at night, then your $80 is better spent elsewhere. However, I would recommend trying it in a bar. By making contact with Contact S, I'm further convinced that the Shizuoka Distillery has some great stuff lined up for us as the years go by. And until then, can pie.